Hey, sweetie. <laughs> How are you doing, sweethearts? Has everybody written their essays for today so we can talk about our tender feelings with one another? Wait, damn, Billy. Yeah, oh, it, feelings are important. It's time for a positive affirmation. You should get in front of a mirror and tell yourself what a good person you are. <laughs> because you're good enough, you're smart enough, and doggone Gosh, it, people God. like you. People like you. Yeah, yeah. that's right. A little Al Franken for you. Are you mad enough, molesting, Before he started molesting women or something. I don't know what's going on with his so, story. like that. that, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I ran into uh, to a uh, scraggly little fur fag. Uh, made his way into my mansions after the honey badger thing, and uh, this is apparently somebody you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's uh, uh, it's coming full Yobi? circle, isn't it, Billy? Yeah, it's coming full circle. God, yeah, it's been fun watching the fallout from that fucking stream. Oh yeah. You figure Big Head would have been the one, but no, Big Head kind of just did Big Head's own thing on their own little corner. But mm -hmm. those honey badgers are fucking angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, they're still going. Oh yeah. my god, like oh, four no. tweet. 400 tweets, Andy, after the appearance. <laughs> oh, should I have four, four, 400 tweets of just passive-aggressive anger. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's oh, my lot. God. it's It's been great. You know, I thought, like, you know, fucking with fur fags and shit on DeviantArt is always entertaining because you get a big reaction. Like, the diaper fur community gave me a big reaction, but money badgers are salty as fuck. <laughs> God, a little bit. You would have think I like showed up at their house and took a shit in the living room, but they. Uh, but during all of this, uh, yeah, Yobi, Yobi appeared, and uh, I had a little bit of an interaction with them. Thought I'd relate the story because I thought you might get a chuckle out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, shows up talking a ton of shit, adding me repeatedly, mm -hmm. just repeatedly, talking about uh, just all sorts of things, and not talking it's about so... like ten times or so. Like it's it it's a lot. Oh, lot. yeah, no, no. Oh, you're talking to Honey Badgers. Allison, Allison, you're a wonderful woman, m'lady. Let me wait out a little bit. <laughs> uh, Jim's, Jim's, just a, Jim's just a bitch. So I, I didn't even respond directly at him. Um, you, I want to read this to you because you have to understand how fucking retarded this guy is. Oh, it got deep. I was watching. I, just, I didn't want to bother you about it. I uh, just, okay, let me, let me just down here a little bit. Uh, Andy, to give you an idea of some of the comments... <laughs> uh, uh, these are two of them I put together. Just, just to give you an idea what this retard was going on about and some other assorted retards. Some to, uh, someone will have to tell me what that faggot we was Medicar has done for men's rights. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the real gem, though. This is like the fucking crown jewel right on top of his little tiara of gayness. Actually, you totally pwned we was Medicar by default. He's on the wrong side of this war. Is, is there a men's rights war that I'm unaware of that's currently well, being fought? Are they in the cult, uh, the West what? War or the culture war? There are a lot of wars right now. There are a lot of wars online. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton wars. of wars online. Uh, SJW, anti-SJW, political affiliation, and apparently 2018's biggest war is the men's rights war being led by a fur fag <laughs> and the money badgers. I was unaware this was being fought, but there we go. You go called her out for being a fucking shell there was I, no I, I, I she said her, she was a shell I, yeah, yeah right it's amazing i called she her out for saying what she admitted to it's not it was not even a call out it was just an acknowledgement of the shit she said yeah she came back and like did that five minute i'm sorry i didn't follow the rules speech so what the fuck? Who who said this? Who's the guy who commented? Oh, this is yeah. That's what that's what we're talking about. So it's, apparently his name is Yobi. But the the funny part, the okay. thing that I find most amusing, is after you know putting out the picture because I was like, this guy is fucking retarded, uh, and talking a little bit back and forth with him, uh, he blocked me immediately. Oh. So I'm trying to figure <laughs> out why would you why would you at somebody multiple times and then when they why find, would they, were they at like, you specifically? <laughs> I don't know. He kept wow. saying somebody needs to get me on Jim's side, and I told him, uh, go yiff elsewhere. The last thing I want is a fur fag <laughs> on my side. Uh, he didn't take that well, maybe. <laughs> uh, and then he said, oh, he, talk, he said, you're on my dick, and uh, why would he want that? And I was like, well, you strike me as a sort of guy that if dick's involved, you definitely want on it. Uh, he's a bit mysterious, is that what you're saying? He's a little mysterious. Is he a little mysterious? Well, have you seen his avatar, Andy? I don't even know <laughs> oh, what it really oh, is. Oh, like, no, no. He does somehow manage to make a dog look gay. Like, <laughs> Rags is gay and has a dog avatar and somehow manages to not have his avatar look as gay as this dog's. Okay, that was true. You know what I'm saying there. 
That got it's, it's a very homosexual pupper with like a fucking plate on his head or a Bad. sign on his head. Something to block the jizz that's repeatedly <laughs> shot on there from the fucking convention he attends. It's an they eye shield. Me, please uh, a screen share the avatar. I want to see how, how mysterious this avatar is. I don't know if you can handle it, Andy. I mean, oh, we're talking, what? Are you ready? We're talking big boy mysterious avant-garde kind of shit here. I don't know if you're up for the task. <laughs> is it as mysterious as Prince of Glory Holes? Oh, no. I've got a story about that one, too. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa. You're, talk, you're talking He's about Prince with... of Moose? Prince oh, of Moose? No. Who is that? Oh, of uh, Prince <laughs> of uh, Queens. What are we talking about? <laughs> we a Prince of Queens? random names now. I th- there's so all many... Right. F- I can't keep track of all these fucking people. Up. Prince What's of it? Queens thinks you're a piece of shit, Jim. I don't know oh, if well, you know let that. Let me relate a story about Prince, yeah, <laughs> Prince of Queens. Is the one oh, I'm I've seen what? this guy. I think he's is he following me? Yeah, that that, that looks pretty mysterious. That it is it's very mysterious. Look at that longing eye looking at you, just asking for a load. You know he's the <laughs> happiest guy at Anthrocon. Hey, hey, hey Jim, are we in the same club? Are we in the same club? We're I think we're in the same. Is that club involving uh, kicking fur fags in the face when they try to talk <laughs> shit to you on Twitter? Oh well, we've we've done that too. We we uh, made him an outside dog because he pissed on the carpet. We beat the shit out of him. He's an idiot. Look at that goofy look. Why did he pick that as the avatar? Like this is gonna strike fear into their Jim, hearts. Jim, do you remember when you first started showing? And we kept talking about the outside dog with Liz and Zeph. Mm-hmm. That's him. How did how do you make a dog manage to look smug and gay at the same time? But he's accomplished it. It's a task that he's really done well. Yeah, he's so uh, bad. No, but I, I, he's I was so gonna say, bad. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh yeah, we got something here. We have Yobi Axis calling out all the internet blood sportsters. Oh, how's he? Uh, gonna, we're all blocked. Yeah, we're blocked. How's he well, calling not, anybody out from behind a block? Well, not me. All right, so his pinned tweet from March 5th. Can the blood sport cucks say that they've been in real blood sport fights and provide evidence? I'm looking at you, Tonka. No, but Sargon can. And then he has a Sargon video attached. Wait, his idea of blood sports is sitting in your chair while skinny soy boys walk around you on a stage? That's amazing. <laughs> I, 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 I did I think I he might. I think he might shit himself if somebody sent him a link to like World Star Hip Hop or Live Leaks. <laughs> that, yeah. that level of violence might be beyond him. Yeah, I'm here. I'll uh, I'll share my screen so uh, you can. Um, How the hell are you going to be looking at Tonka when you block Tonka? Here you are, Tonka. You see this? Fuck you, Tonka. You Hold piece on. of shit. You see this shit? Let's see this. I like your screen sharing. Of, it's like the size of a fucking stamp on screen right now for the people watching. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, it? Uh, I'm doing this for uh, for Tonka because Tonka is apparently a fucking bitch because you've never been in real blood sports fights, even nope. though you were in wrestling. What? Like legitimate fighting. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I did both. That's That's kind of the thing. The reason that they harp on the wanting to know about the fighting thing is because they were able to find wrestling stuff. But wrestling is not real. So this is not my real stuff at all. And that irritates Zeph. Can you can you scroll back up? Can you scroll back up his timeline? I know it's delayed on the screen, but to that picture of Sargon holding that flag over his shoulders, that is the gayest fucking look. It's I've not ever good. Seen. It's not. It a doesn't good come look. across as badass. It comes across like he's doing a fucking um, drag queen show, and that's part of the final act. <laughs> oh, it's a bit mysterious. <laughs> it's a giant boa that he's just holding out there. It's bad. This is not a good look. I'm feeling fabulous, Antifa. <laughs> oh, God. It's not really the scariest look. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what he was going for with that, but it doesn't It doesn't really come across as bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Here's what I, I just remembered this. That oh. video that we watched some of yesterday with Cog, uh, half of it had played through Failure Stream. We never watched the whole video here. It He's was all about now. Jim. The video that had me cackling like a fucking girl for like two hours. It was a video about Jim. Oh, you're talking about uh, Prince of Queens? Yeah. Do you, uh, mm. I had an encounter with this guy before. I went on to a smaller oh, podcast, uh, Politipod, I think it was. Oh, yeah. God. We're having, a, we're having a conversation. Oh. All of a sudden, Prince of Queens comes in, and it just kind of 
fucking torpedoes a conversation talking about like I, I think it was like online harassment or how they'd been abused. I, it was some weird fucking shit, but it just kind of we're having a little banter and it just kind of turned into an ugh moment. Uh, you you want to know who he's he has friends that with? Effect wherever he goes, Jim. Yep. You want to know who he's friends with? None other than Base Mama. Yeah, what is the connection with all these people? Can somebody? No. It's like some weird He's incestuous erg fucking well, hold on, to, uh, hold on, Jim. I can tell you what the connection was. Failure. Failure linked everybody together because he was the shiny, fucking happy. Everybody needs to be friends with everybody kind of person until a little while back. Yeah, he was quite mysterious back then, but now he's he's cool. Failure but, introduced everyone to yeah, everyone, and that's how everybody got all fucking linked like this. I think he's still talking at uh, Kilroy. Is this Prince some of failure? Queens? What? I'm pretty sure. I saw I I saw him on, on the roster. I'll double check right now. You but I'm pretty kidding. sure. Yeah, but he was on. He's gonna the be fucking... talking about being a man. <laughs> what it is to be a man? <laughs> no, he was definitely on the roster uh, back then. Uh, he. Oh yes, you're right. He was. He was part of it. Not anymore. But they still caught reps, Jan, and half of the YouTube Saints, Nicholas. Wait, how uh, do you only how do you only get half of the YouTube Saints? Was Jeff too good to show up? <laughs> how, does yeah. that, how does that work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, Jim, but uh <laughs> but hold on. Like Wizard of Cause had a breakdown the other night about blood sports. Jeff's trying to stop him and he's like, No, Jeff, I gotta do this. Hold me back. Hold me back. Yeah, it was what what, what, what uh what was the what was the break? I I'm on You didn't see it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, we that one's kinda short. Um, can you play that one, Failure? That's the... Uh, I think I posted oh, that up like two There's nothing ago. better than watching a good Wizard of Cause breaking down yeah. video. He lost his <laughs> shit. He's just Jim. drunk all the time. <laughs> he fuck, no, he really lost his shit. It was, it was embarrassing. Oh, and Jeff Holiday was trying to hold him down a little bit. That was the worst part, is that Jeff is... Okay, this is even too bad. Yeah, when Jeff is the voice of reason, something's fucking wrong. Let's see this. There, there was the police. Do you, do you remember movie. whose Twitter it was on? Who, who, who had the clip? Dude, I put the I, I I uploaded it onto uh onto oh. YouTube. Totes that I could. Well, and if the, you if you don't have the clip, you can just tell me what happens. What does he say? Something? No, I want to see his clip. He goes on no, this it's a ri- you've got to hear this shit. He th- he, goes, he blames um, us for every fucking thing, Jim. He goes on this early 1990 esque religious right you argument have against video no, games. Hold on, don't and don't spoil this for real, for real. This is one of the best fucking genuine holy shit delete this moments that anyone's ever caught. It was I'm great. A- Health, I want, uh, social ostracization, and a societal-wide <laughs> fetish. Is he is he drunk? What oh, is it? No, it's because yeah. no, kind of fucking hammerhead. He's always drunk. I I assumed he'd be slurring and drunk, and there it is. A s- 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 societal. All right, uh, Jim, you're asking me, is he drunk? Yeah, Does don't he drink. Look drunk in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, was that from the video? <laughs> No, I, I, I don't uh, think no, that's that from is. the video. No, no that, that's him usually. Oh God, it's like Nick Cage from Leaving Las Vegas, drunk. Holy I shit! Can, I can <laughs> try rough. to pull up the same. Well, well, with, 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 with a lot, with a lot more makeup, with a lot more makeup. I have fucking VidCon. Hold he on a rough. second. I have an, uh, oh boy, I have an idea. Uh, hey, Jim, if I send yeah. you something to your DMs, will you will you look at it? Oh Jesus Christ! Will you play the video failure yeah, so we can get through the ahead. story? Right. Jesus! Oh no! Is that, he having a little, a little bit of wide bullshit. fetish for violence? Okay, because gotta... let's be honest. No, Jeff. Def... <laughs> Is that Jeff trying to stop him? Yes. <laughs> I gotta do this. Okay. I gotta do this. <laughs> um, if we're this. gonna try and deny that we have a society-wide fetish for violence, right? Uh. Then can we stop pretending that online shit talking matches which are framed in the context of physical violence? You're gonna get taken to the mat. Yeah, that kind of shit. That like we oh. don't actually enjoy that shit because we've got some kind of perhaps societal disease in which we frame everything, <laughs> including what used to. Oh wait, wait. Be. Can you pause this? Can you pause this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here you go. So. 
He's saying that uh, this, that that blood sports are problematic because they they reflect on a violent society. Is that what he's getting at? He gets at a lot of shit, man. Okay, because I just find it funny. Uh, I'd like to relate a small story to you, and I'm sure Jeff can verify this, and you know, so can Wizard. Mm -hmm. uh, after I was on the YouTube Saints, their podcast, oh, uh, we were mm. fucking around on their post show. Mm. Uh, we went on to screw with some uh, Twitch streamers. And one of them was, a, and I wish they had recorded this because I thought it was funny as shit. One of them was a, a lady baking some food in her kitchen. Um, and so we all went into the Twitch chat and we're like, hey, that's a really nice recipe. Why is there a guy with a knife at your window? <laughs> we fucked with her for like 10 minutes doing that and she got really freaked out. So it's just weird to me that he'd be going on a diatribe about uh, you know, online shit talking or trolling or internet blood sports oh. when he was fine <laughs> doing that with me in their post show. And Jim, Jim, just okay, do me a yeah, favor. Yeah, that's check how it, Jeff check is after. Uh, check, during check the, your... oh, Jesus, <laughs> failure, be quiet. The whole <laughs> thing with Jeff is that as soon as it, everything goes fucking off air, that's when Jeff, he tries to snuggle up to whoever's in the fucking stream with him. That's when Jeff mm -hmm. turns that shit. When uh, we did that stream with Pascal that started all that shit with Pascal, apparently, that Toad dug up. As soon as we went off air, Jeff's a completely different guy. He's trying to buddy up to me, talk about all these fights that he's been in. And I'm like, I even pointed out, I'm like, man, you're completely different when things are off stream. He's like, yeah, man, I'm just a little more relaxed. As like, soon as he, I was like, failure. That, yeah. that is a fake motherfucker. <laughs> that is, that yeah. dude's fake. Come on. Yeah. And, no, no, he has, he has, I'll even, I'll even say that too. Like, kind of known him for a while. We'd be like off air, be chill, be whatever, this, that. The moment we're on air, he would just take swings at people. And then I had to go on my like apology sprees. Like, hey guys, sorry about, sorry about what happened. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's, he pumps it up for the, uh, for the show. Yeah, a lot of people seem to be taking shots at uh, blood sports, which is weird because I could have sworn uh, there are a lot of people talking shit saying it's never going to last. It'll be dead by February, and we're already in fucking March, and it seems to be going strong to me. I don't oh, know. Yeah. The oh, views, yeah. it, there's not been a day in the red yet. It, it's, it, a little, it's a little weird. People getting overly pissed. I don't know why they hate this format so much. I, I don't understand it, but they really are ass-blasted about it. it. There's some because... people with some grudges. It's because this format was mean to them. They were. I'm, oh, I'm gonna be, I want them to keep on being mad about it. They are the preachers outside of the Marilyn Manson concert. It's if great they promotion. are Tipper Gore fucking sitting up there trying to put stickers on everything, if now, they are the Starlight, lame ones. If some uh, Starlight it, Citizen didn't send Andy those screenshots that showed Jeff being a liar looking for CRP's docs, he would not be mad right now. That's the whole reason he's mad. It's because he got caught lying and we were mean to him. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday. Like, <clears throat> if the Kraut and Kilroy saga hadn't happened that week, like w where YouTube would be right now, when we're trying to like think of how things would be different, like that was a fucking strong week where the Kilroy shit happened. It was all because Medicare jumped on my stream for a minute and went like, "Hey, Andy, are they paying you at Kilroy?" And I'm like, "No." He's like, "Well, why are they paying everyone else?" And that started a fucking domino effect <laughs> of fucking destruction. And, uh, Andy, Andy, don't lay more shit at my feet. You know, I already get blamed for Gamergate and Trump and school shootings. I don't need, I don't need blood sports laid at my feet as well. Thank can you, you still get into Israel, Jim? No, you're banned. You're gone. You guys can can't you get go? in there. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a good guy. I'm allowed in Israel anytime I want to go there. Me and Soros are buddies. <laughs> mm. Latest gods right uh, there. Do, do you want me to keep playing? The, yeah, the, yes, the, yes, yes. Uh, okay. I, I want nothing else but to hear that. Uh, okay. It gets, it devolves. It devolves. All right, uh, let me share More? the screen. Uh, all right. Uh, real, real quick, Jim, I promise you, check your DMs. You'll like what I, I swear if this to is, If this is more black porn... It's I, just oh, a I, picture no. of Wizard of Cause's nutsack with no oh, Okay, Okay, failure, because you keep sending me black dicks on Twitter saying, does that look delicious? And I don't know why you do it, but I, just, I told you. No, I promise you this time it, it's not going to be black dicks. I promise you'll enjoy it. All right. Societal disease in which we frame everything, including what used to be here on YouTube, the kind of thing in which we used to say, especially back during Gamergate, to bring it back around to the point here, we used to say things like, can we get to talking to the issues? 
we don't even bother now. Now we're all about, hey, you fucking blah, 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 blah. fucking truck nuts. That's a great comic impression. Violence, right? We fetishize this shit. And if we cannot get around the fact that we think that it's violence fetishized. is actually the solution to problems, mm -hmm. then guess what? Those kids, those young fucking kids, no, nah, they're, they're 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 not gonna get it over it either. We we have a societal wide fucking problem in which we are so dead set on reducing shit to simpleton uh, presentations of ideas and arguments, and then framing such in the frame of uh, and in this corner. Uh, yeah. I, I what is this? Uh, you know, uh, we need to talk about the deep-seated uh, philosophical ideas. When did that start? Uh, we were bitching at girls sitting on their beds ten minutes yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. Who, who gives a shit? it's fucking Jerry Springer. I, I like that kind of content. There's no fucking shame in it. There's well, no shame in putting on a shit show. You, you can have fucking moments where people talk about real issues, but at the end of the day, it's entertainment focused. Well, we we're, had we we're had so this bad. Thing, we had this thing where where I remember. Uh, uh, a bunch of my streams before it was framed as internet blood sports, like last year and the year before that, were like pretty much the same thing. It was like cult dusty, us yelling at each other, omni politics, pedophile, us yelling at him. Like there was a oh. bunch of that. And then also my videos were like, hey, Franny, you're a fucking cunt. Like was that yeah. fucking highbrow, I think, I high think, No, debate? for real. I think the fucking problem here is that a lot of people have been able to masquerade and pretend they were entertaining behind the guise of what they've been doing. They were able to pretend that they were intellectuals. They, they were able to pretend this shit. They could just pretend that everybody, you know, was following down the line because they did a certain thing, and that's over now. It's fucking YouTube. Who's turning into YouTube for deep intellectual conversations with Jeff Holiday well, and Wizard of Cause? They the used to be able to pass themselves off as funny because well, it was like, we're the, the funny the ones. Entertainment. That's what their fucking YouTube Saints was meant to be entertainment. They had fucking goofy bits and shit. Why, why are they, they trying to act like it was intellectual? Off, when you start off a shingle. That's where they I, fucked up. Now they're pushing so hard to that end. And getting so mad about everything. Like, they're pushing so hard that we were intellectuals. What the fuck? What? When did... Why? Why is it so bad? There are plenty of people who just make videos just to have fun. Baring, great example. Comes on mm -hmm. all the time. Has a fucking blast. Mm. Baring's fun as fuck. Cool guy. When you start some shit off with, I need to pay my electric, it kind of takes the fun out of it. Wait, so where was that? Like, was it... Was that on YouTube Saints? Yeah, it was like the first five minutes of one of the Saints episodes. I need to pay my electric bill. Was it a cause? Like, I gotta pay the electric. <laughs> like, this guy's okay. fucking pounding fucking bottles of fucking gin and beer. He's, he's taking it way too seriously. It's this no fun allowed exactly. mentality that's just ruining the fucking platform. Jesus Christ, who cares? It's fucking YouTube. It we was, was intellectuals fun. and shit. No, it was fun when they when they felt like they were ha you know okay we're you know things are going good. Everybody thinks we're witty and we're funny and we're the cool new kids at school. And dude, it didn't it didn't have to be any of this way. And you could have just kept just doing what you were doing, but you didn't do that. But then this format got bigger than their like whatever they were doing, and they couldn't handle it. I mean, if you look at it what got you bigger than super chat me because the ad monetization went away. Yeah, I I mean I mean look at yeah like a, a, a medica you're right like the old the old YouTube saints like when I was on the show and a few other people were on the show like they were just fucking around and making fun of news stories and talking about shit and trolling and now it's just become this different I don't know cuz I don't watch the show but from what I hear him talking about it right now sounds like they're in pretty serious business yeah, it just seems like there are a lot of like genuinely mad people that are really upset at this stupid yeah. fucking uh, entertainment laugh fest of a fucking format, and I have no idea why. It makes no fucking sense to me. I mean, uh, let's hear some more of this. Well, you got this through and through, and then framing such in the frame of uh, and in this corner, a feckless.
this faggot who is talentless through and through. And in this corner, an equally talentless homophobic motherfucker <laughs> who's going to take him to the man. I think right there he was just going to straight call someone a homo. And didn't. Yeah, fucking. I don't know. Like, okay, go ahead. Just keep going, failure. We used to be like, oh, those SJWs, they're full of shit. Can we talk about issues now? We're giving that shit up now. It's all about being fucking flaming retards. What, what is he, What is this? Uh, yes, we, we've given it up. You've had five years to fucking talk about the real issues if that was really your fucking crusade to talk about. Why is it now when other people no. are doing other shit, you suddenly want to get down to brass tacks and talk about the real shit? Who gives, like, Who's you can still talk about the motherfucker, dude. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's prohibiting you. There's no fucking, there's nothing, there's no One physical. One day Matt's not going to show up on his fucking scooter in his Paul Blart outfit and stop you, dude. You can fucking do it. By the way, you know, you know who used to love blood sports before it was blood sports? Fucking Jeff Holiday. He would yeah. jump into any fucking shit show that you would have. Jeff Holiday <laughs> still <laughs> watches he he, he ruined me twice. Match he could find himself in to have an argument with someone because he'd like to just call someone a cunt. Who doesn't want to call Look, someone? Here's a cunt? the funny thing: everybody loves it. It's fun. On the same well, stream that they called us hacks, about five minutes later, Jeff Holiday literally jumps into one of my bits. Just, just mm -hmm. the um fucking uh Bradco. It's a channel on uh YouTube. He's mm -hmm. a, he's a, yeah. Oh man, that was irritating. You're a hack. Dot dot dot. Here's that thing that you fucking found. Uh, oh, okay. That's cool. But that's their mentality. They, it's like they're these weird projector people that have to pretend that they're winning, except for Wizard of Cause, because he gets too fucking drunk and he let he just starts talking. You know, Taka, do you do you think this is there's like a deeper issue here? And I've been wondering about this for a while myself. Yes. It might not be that it's internet blood sports itself. This actually relates to you, Andy. It might not be that it's internet blood sports itself. But I guess talk, Andy. Do you think that they're? Do you think that they're angry that they believe we've like converted you to a new format and they've lost one of theirs? Is that what this is? I I honestly think, yeah. That there's a huge thing. Cause I was talking. Uh, who was I talking to the other day? It was very like very similar. You know about the the people who are who are angry at me. Fuck. There was someone. Okay. It was Sophane. Remember when me and him were hashing out our thing? He, he was like not he's not as deep into it as i thought he was uh however he did tell me live on that uh that exchange that we had here on blood of palooza where there's a lot of big youtubers in that camp who have told either him or other people uh, like how pissed they are at me so yeah there are people who maybe it's not even internet blood sports maybe it is about me sort of steamrolling the skeptics over the no i don't i don't know I, i'm talking like at a more <laughs> at a more uh emotional, emotional. connection yeah, level that's what I, that's yeah. what I was oh you mean more like as in a oh they he... feel like we stole their friend andy that's what i'm getting at do you think that they're angry about all oh, this you mean even like deeper like not about yeah. the format you're, you're saying about me as a guy Maybe. Yeah, I'm saying that you were their you were you were their anti SJW buddy, and we came in and kidnapped you and made you drink and smoke cigarettes, and now you're bad. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I'm like I'm the young guy who is hanging out with the older high school students now, like in the back of the fucking auditorium. They're like, Come Andy, on, you were a good kid. You've changed, Andy. What's going on? I got you to big. play Dungeons and Dragons without now you're drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana cigarettes. Maybe. You know, maybe because I was pretty, like, big in that, like, genre or whatever group. I'd say, you know, not, like, top, but, you know, top five. Mm. Maybe they are pissed about that, you know? I, I did don't know. It's just it's a feeling I get. I don't know. Taco, what do you think? You, I think we you, stole the you, wind. You think, you think that's what it might be? That's a feeling I'm getting with the anger I'm seeing. I don't know how else to describe it. it it's, this is a deep <laughs> feeling of loss. This is this is this is what defeat. Are we talking like four panels deep of loss? Is that where we're is that what we're going for here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like an onion. Oh god, the crickets died. Okay, all right. No, no, no. no you're out. All right. I'm a fine. man now. Is that what it is? I'm a man now. But here's the thing: no, you're not a man now. 
Where is failure? failure? Did he die? You know, failure brought this up the other day. He's like, with all these people, uh, a lot of them, I helped them out. Like a lot of them, I fucking helped boost their numbers. They had the hashtag Warski bump. I helped out so many fucking people. And then the moment I fucking call out Kilroy and all this stuff, everyone fucking just turned their head like, oh, Andy, stop doing these drama streams. Like no one had my back. I had their back forever. And then I, you know what? Like, that's why I don't fucking care. Is this a loss? Is it a loss? No, it's not a loss. Maybe for them. Oh, shots fired. Fuck you, ex-girlfriend. I don't need you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, I don't need you. Your cunt was terrible. He smelled. Fuck you, you <laughs> hoe. Stinky hoe. Fuck you, hoe. I don't like you. I ain't even maybe like you. It. Maybe it is because you're not friends with them anymore because they seem uh, a little like unneededly upset, a little irrationally upset about all this. I I don't know. Okay, okay. Let's hear the rest of this. A wizard cause thing because it's almost done, right? Failure. Yeah, it looks close to done. I think it's good. Oh, here we go, Enya. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is that for timing? I told you, Andy. I told you. <laughs> no, here's the thing, Jim. Wait until you see up under this. Look at the date. Remember what you said. Remember what you said, Jim. Remember what you said, and you'll know why I said what I did. <laughs> oh, you're, you're killing the audience. They can't see it. It's on that dime stamp thing. I, 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 could, I started uh, laughing. I started laughing. I'm sorry. It's the thing where Wizard of Cause <laughs> says it's funny how things change. <laughs> fucking dog. And it's a picture of him and Andy hugging. Yeah. Uh, they look like a Kmart commercial or some shit. It's Somebody so posted uh, that on Wizard of Cause's timeline instead of ignoring <laughs> it. His answer was to, to type under that where everyone could see. Funny how things change. I fucking just started doing different shit. Oh, I, I fucking gosh. called it. I feel confident now. Well, in my I, three. I, I feel confident now. No hey, shit. Andy, do you, do you remember at VidCon that intellectual hashtag that you guys had? Hashtag Lord. shut up, Tariq. Yeah, it was so intellectual. Mm -hmm. You thought it was it was um cringy. It was, cringy you know, is the word. So I, I, I know I know Jim probably I know Jim probably didn't check his DMs, but that intellectual uh, you know wizard of cause also pulling out his ball sack in the middle of a YouTube live stream. <laughs> intellectual for everybody to see. Actually, yeah. um, um, a if you go check that out, his check his, out his I, balls. No, no, but but <laughs> what do you wait, want? Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. His his ex who. Who um who wasn't too bad looking had uh, uh black tape over her nipples as well. So half of the video you're like, oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good because it's tr like her tits are out, and then he just comes in, storming in with his fucking balls just out of his pants on a YouTube live stream. Which... The worst was when everybody kept telling him to get the fuck off Twitter after they like broke up or whatever, and he just wouldn't quit posting. Yeah, when she dumped him, that was his. Wait, so where were? Okay, he took his balls out. Where exactly was it? At VidCon? No, no, on a live stream. Oh, <laughs> what intellectual discussion were they having about deep ideas on that one? Oh, well, they were, were having dangling? it on Prince of Queens channel, and they got his fucking stream flag down, and then just went and started another stream and didn't invite Prince of Queens. But Prince of Queens <laughs> is the first one over there to Milady for him. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe a wizard knows his audience if he's showing his balls to Prince of Queens. That's oh all I got to say. I think Failure wow. has posted that. Like, if, you, if if the audience wants to see it, Failure, go on Failure's uh, Twitter timeline, scroll down, and he's got the. You'll see the the chick's tits out, and then she looks behind, and then Wizard Cause storms in with his balls out, and she laughs. I'll, I'll retweet it so that people can find it much easier. Now, uh, Andy, there was there was a tweet earlier on. I don't, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but mm -hmm. I think this might be the evolution of blood sports. Are you familiar with uh, Asian Andy CX? I saw this. 
No, was this? Uh, okay, here's here's the idea um, that I got from this, and I think it would be brilliant. And I will I will pay money in super chats if anybody has the balls to do this. Mm. But the uh, the premise of the real life Running Man is that you stream in real life from a phone, mobile device, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, you have a speaker system, small one, doesn't have to be that much that uh, can project sound, and that is tied into the Streamlabs or to the super chat on YouTube. And the amount uh, donated dictates how loud the volume is set at, and then you stream in high crime areas. Because that's <laughs> apparently that's apparently what Asian Andy is doing. Uh, so as he's walking through the ghetto, uh, super chats come in and it starts screaming, <laughs> starts screaming nigger, and a group of black people all what? around him. Yeah, it's the fucking most amazing thing. Where where is this? How do I find this? Uh, it's on my timeline. If you go down. Um, uh, you, you'll see it. It's right above the. Uh, okay, I don't know. It's like maybe eight tweets down, and it just says uh, he's appropriating Andy Morsky's blood sports. And if you play the clip, you'll see what happens. This is a little Asian dude walking around as Super Chad starts screaming "nigger" at all the black people in the street. Wow! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna check this out. I gotta see this. There it is. This is a hell of a plan. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I want to see this become a thing. I, I want to see people do it at like fucking uh, Gary, Indiana, or Detroit, Michigan, or like fucking Compton. Just it, it's it's kind of brilliant because it's like how much risk versus how much reward. How far are you going? Or how far are you willing to go for that money? Like, where's the line from getting rich and running for your life at? Where is it at? I don't hate that. That is interesting. Fourteen eighty-eight gas the kikes race war now. <laughs> Free Warski and Baked Alaska. Yo, this guy's walking down the street. It's 1488 guess race word now. Free Warski and Baked Alaska. Someone, while he's walking. <laughs> That's amazing. Also, I'm assuming Asian Andy probably knows who me and Baked Alaska are. Oh, no, he didn't know who I was. He goes, Is Warski a band too? Oh, here we go. Here the clips up. Can you get the sound on it? Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. Oh, There's a van. Playing van. Oh, we yeah. Must secure the here. existence of our people and a future for white children. You fucking love. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy underage girls. All right. Acknowledge this one's uh. speaking to me. Do not inform me of daughters. 1488 gas the kites race war now free warski and baked alaska free war warski a band too oh oh fuck off yo why are the, the tts backed up like crazy get him andy i i, I want to see this as a format this has to be a format where it's intentional the speakers are really nice and clear you could pump that sound out for miles. How could we get speakers that work into I'll a backpack? Hold on. Speakers that work into a backpack that's also light enough that it's not going to make you too tired while you're running, like not be too much of a... Oh, yeah, you have to do it on foot. It can't be from the car. car is a push... That's like pussy that's shit. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be in your backpack. When you do this. We'll say yeah, a and... start and finish point. Right, and the amount of money dictates how loud it is. So if it's like yeah. if it's like a dollar, it's like almost a whisper. But if you like, you know, twenty bucks, fifty bucks, it's screaming that shit for like a block. Okay, is there anyone in the chat who's willing to take this walk? And yeah, we'll 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 set aside an a evening or an afternoon. I'll I'll stream it. The people will send the super chats. You can have the cash. I'll do this. Oh, Andy, if you do this. Uh, I will. I will. I can already think of the super chats. I'm going to have it read out. But I will and, yeah, like, here's the thing. Andy's downtown bigger. Downtown Toronto. Andy's bigger. So yeah. This oh god, do it in Toronto. Oh, yeah. I'd love to shit talk. You know, like, it's it's do so it it's so packed in Toronto too. A lot of feminists and fucking uptight people. Oh my god, that's so. You're, scary. you're in Canada though, man. They the got thing with Andy, it'll specials. never stop talking. This thing will perpetually keep talking if it's Andy. Over here, there will be bits of silence. People can probably. Oh, and you can do like today. challenge segments, Andy, where you walk by a police station, right? Because I can think of things people would like to say as you're walking by that. <laughs> yo, yo, but but here's the thing: is people will say I'll get arrested because of of hate speech. What do you think about that? How much you want? How bad you want that money? You probably make nah, a killing I, doing this. I don't. I don't want. 
the fucking. That we got to do it in America bad. then. No, look, yeah. hold on. Baked Alaska needs a new show. I oh we wait, 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 wait guys, 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 guys. I I am going to L.A. in a few weeks. I do it in L.A. Holy uh, shit, that would be great. And and Baked Alaska may be there as well, so he could probably help me. Okay, backpack. <laughs> hold on, speaker. Tiny backpacks that aren't super. Heavyweight. And no, fuck that. Fanny packs. You guys need fanny packs with serious fucking speakers in them so that you look like genuine fucking queers. Just the lamest. Here, 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 here's some bullshit. Just uh, Tess says, do, it, do it at Kilroy. No, nobody's going to be fucking hearing it at Kilroy. What's the point? <laughs> they're going to look at you in LA and be like, what are you, queer? Come over, come over here. No, come Andy, here. You, have to, you have to realize the danger you'll be placing yourself in because those super chats are going to be real specific. Uh, to the people around you in the lovely, lovely city of L.A. Yeah, no, I don't know. I can't do that. Oh, my God. Queer means weird, chat. You guys are so fucked up. That's like, We're yeah. We're good all, boys all, in here. What are you my, talking about? L.A. has guns and shit and people who stab people and psychopaths. Well, Andy, this is where you put your secret plan into action and get baked Alaska to do it. Oh, you know what? Okay, everyone. Yeah. I'm going to tell Bait. I'm going to go, don't worry. Trust me. You'll be okay. You've been sprayed in the eyes before. You've Here's this fanny this. pack, brother. Okay, everyone. Okay, no one tell Bait the last Turn one. these speakers on and take off. It, it, has to, yeah, it has to be secret. Don't tell him there's any danger. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to tell him it's going to be p perfectly fine. Yo, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell him. I'll be like, yo, fucking, like, trust me. You'll make some money. You, you can mm -hmm. stream it, whatever. Like, it'll be cool. And we don't tell him like exactly what's gonna be happening. Yeah. <laughs> he just straps speakers <laughs> onto him and send him into the street. I, I'm like, just <laughs> duct tape them bag. on him. I, I'm like this bag. I have like a fucking. What about like you know, a Velcro bulletproof vest? Yeah. No. Why? Because they may shoot him, <laughs> Andy. Yeah, just strap. You take my backpack for a sec and go ahead and stream and just like leave him. <laughs> so, and Andy, if, when, when are you going to fucking uh, LA? I don't want to say when. Okay, <laughs> they're going to be sitting there waiting, waiting with crowbars. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, Kilroy is only 45 days away, and you don't want to miss that, man. What I'm, what I'm thinking is, these people were <laughs> super chatting like edgy, edgy shit. How come they're not saying anything like free Newports or anything? Wait, like what that? if really somebody people... does this through Kilroy? What do you mean? What if somebody will go to Kilroy? Oh, and let us have our say while they're watching these? Yes. That would actually be brilliant. They show I up will in Kilroy and then let the chat shit talk them through Super Chats? Guys, hey. Hey. If you're going to Kilroy, if you still have that ticket and you're like, I mean, I want to go because I don't want to waste it. But what am I going to do there? Get with us. Yeah. And Wait a minute, Tonka, you just came up with a new business idea. Shit post in person. You send out as somebody as your avatar to an event and allow the chat to shit talk. <laughs> I <laughs> like this idea. It's it's more or less what you were saying, but just at different things. It's a little more it's a little more laser focused. I like that. Go to Kilroy shit talk em. How about Anthrocon and shit talk em? Will you the go, you get the super chat money, everywhere. people can see what they like? Yeah, no yeah. shit. The super chat will transcend into real life. We'll make it real. <clears throat> but we're gonna we're gonna work into a shoot, brother. Oh god, that'd be actually brilliant. Okay, we're gonna uh, do just have but, the speaker yell f who dropped their snap card. Uh, would any of you lads happen to have tickets? I know some of you were very big fans of the Kilroy event. Is anyone going? Is anyone else still going? No. Press one, <laughs> no. Press one if you got that ticket and you're in the chat because we will we will try to. Oh, chat the chat the, the chat is fucking excited. They're they're listing off all sorts of shit. Anthrocon, oh, Mythcon, yeah. Kilroy, uh, the libertarianism istism meetup. Oh god, yes. <laughs> Andy, have you announced that you're not going already? This is yeah. going to be our Baba Booey moments. Yeah, you got know, a lot of fucking twos. Oh, yeah. there's one one. Oh. Yeah. Man. No one has. Yeah, I'm not going cuz no one is going. No one bought tickets. <laughs> but it's only 45 days away. They have a, a pack lineup. I, have a pack lineup. I'm not going to waste a fucking grand to go there. No. I will you, don't not waste. Meet, you don't want to meet Monday and Matt? Oh, failure. you got to learn how to sell this thing. Andy, if you buy a ticket, you get, the, you get the honor of volunteering as well. <laughs> don't you want to do that? Oh. Yeah, do you, you have to volunteer or something? Yes, you do. It's part of the, it's part of the <laughs> fucking ticket fee. Is it okay. ser are you serious? 
Yo, go to the fucking tickets right now. Hold on. Have... So you have to what? Uh, like unfold the fucking folded chairs. Well, no, there's some set people who work up. on the chairs and get the food ready. Other people the toilet. Huh? They take. Hello. Uh, base mama sent a fucking bomb down the pipe right to Jim's fucking router. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, down. yeah. What? Okay, honestly, like that's just so funny that you have to volunteer. Unless I do it and volunteer, but then I just scream the entire time and just fucking just bash people. And just I, do I don't. I don't think. Thing. I don't think. I don't think Jim was being honest. Regular just, ticket holders don't have what? to volunteer. No, I'm only sorry, the, my friend. Only, only the, no, 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 no. Only the VIPs have to volunteer. Only you, the, you pay for the oh privilege. My God. You get to Wait. work side by side with Monday Matt. Oh man, yeah, unfolding fucking chairs with Monday uh, Matt. Talking about SJWs. Oh man, you see what fucking that's an afternoon you can remember for the rest of your life. Hey kids, gather around. Let me tell you about the time I went to Kilroy and this man let me touch his YouTube plaque. It only cost me eight hundred dollars. <laughs> oh man, Riley J. Dennis isn't isn't Riley crazy? I know, totally. Crazy. Did they change the animation of their avatar? Wasn't that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah they the, did. the other one was under copyright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. This is coming up soon. Wow. Oh, we're almost there. 45, 45 days away, buddy. What are you talking about? Who, the, who are these look, people? Look at, no, look at this packed lineup, guys. Look, Sorry, uh, who's Sart Row? You go, you're scrolling too fast. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to read all these amazing names. Sart Row. It's fucking Clayton, Sart -row. your head. Dimitri Kravon. Wait, Bunty's still going? Really? Yeah, because he yeah, signed the contract on day one. <laughs> oh, he's fucked. Okay. All right, I get yeah, you. Yeah, he has to. Oh, I've heard Mr. of Rep. three of these people. Oh, my God. I was watching Mr. Rep. Okay, I, I, I know. Sometimes I just cringe watch people. Mr. Rep's on doing a stream on, you know, talking about his his changes to his channel because now he get, gets two thousand views now per video two to five thousand views he's like i try to change into a gaming channel but people don't like change like why do people not like change yeah andy people don't like change with your wildly successful highly popular <laughs> show that gives you shit tons of money every night <laughs> who's that <laughs> movie reviewer who's like running on empty food review that's the shit uh Repsion does now yeah uh, he eats chicken way, nuggets I, in his car I, I talked to Dankula uh, because I was like, hey, didn't you drop out of this? And he said uh, he's going to still be part of it via pre-recorded uh, footage. They're going to play a Dankula video for the crowd. <laughs> YouTube.com video for the crowd that paid money in person. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, they're going to play a, a never-before-seen episode of Count Dankula. I hope, it's just him <laughs> laughing the, I hope it's 10 minutes of him laughing and pointing at the screen. Yo, 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 <laughs> did you read the, the homepage? What is Kilroy? Did you ever wonder why there is a sudden influx of censorship online, on the subway, in casual conversation with friends? What? Did you ever wonder why we hear, you can't say that now more than ever? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yes, every, yes, Baked Alaska, you can't say that. <laughs> Yeah, don't you wonder why to kick aren't, out? Aren't most battle. of the people part of Kilroy the people that want? Oh me wait, to wait, wait! What's that last line right? say? You guys, did you catch the last line on that blurb? Refund oh, uh, words, uh, advance purchases will no longer be honored as of two sixteen eighteen. I wonder if they added that on two seventeen eighteen. Yeah, sorry, you, you guys. Uh, we're keeping the money. No refunds. You've been scammed. Fuck off. Well, here, when you go buy tickets, uh, hold on. Where was the tickets thing? Uh, hold on, where, where is it? Uh, okay. Oh, you have to go through all these fucking terms. Instantly, fucking no refunds. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, God. By the way, dude, uh, dude, the agenda. The agenda doesn't even tell you what they're going to be doing. You click agenda. Oh, go to the harassment. Go to the harassment thing real quick, because I feel like there might be some tailored fucking rules in there. Oh, no. Harassment? Where's that? Oh, uh, disorderly conduct includes any behavior that is disruptive, illegal, or deemed unsafe by hotel staff or Kilroy event staff. The Kilroy event staff reserves the right to eject any attendants or guests who violate any laws or hotel policies and ban them from the Kilroy event in perpetuity. 
what what are they expecting? Is Monday Mac gonna throw a kegger and fuck some whores? Like yeah. they, what are they, <laughs> Monday Mac comes out painted green throwing chairs at guests. By the way, guys, guys, if if you attend Kilroy, please do not do not run towards Monday and Matt and and and, and crowd him. It, it'll take a, a whole lot of you. It, it just won't be possible. <laughs> be too many people. Yeah. Also, don't, don't yell Allah Akbar when you walk in. Probably not a good idea. So minors, uh, no minors allowed except for base mama's kids. Boo. Just yeah, why the fuck is she bringing her kids to this thing? That I never understood that part. Could she not get a babysitter for the you fucking need special written permission? If she rates eighty five grand, she can't give some babysitter. fucking kid ten bucks to watch her kids for a day. She can't uh, hire uh, here, here's some of the the other topics. Not that there were any topics up here, but uh, what are the other topics? topics. Let's hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Scroll up. This is, this is what I was talking about. Like, look at the agenda. It's just people's names with lecture. Wait, wait. Bunty King's not just a speaker. He's a special guest host. Oh, oh yeah. He did wrapped into this, didn't he? <laughs> Dangerous Poor son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Copyright in the digital age. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Something in free speech. You count Dankula lecture via multimedia participation. Who the fuck wants to get lectured by mundane uh, here? No, the, the, the multimedia part participation is a pre-recorded video. I already, I already talked to him. <laughs> is it? Oh, is it? That's Anti fantastic. Yeah. Nicholas Groff with anti-social media. Oh, man. Hey, this sound... Hey, I don't know. You guys are being too pessimistic. Wait, this sounds what, like it's what worth is, the money. You think so? What is, an, what is oh, anti-social no. media? The, the, how about I'm this? anti-social, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How, about, yeah. how about this? Uh, um, 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 Michael... G Guthrie, Guthrie, whatever the case for optimism. I, I swear <laughs> to God, I thought that said opium, and I was like, that might be interesting. I, if if fucking an event never needed anything, it'd be a little bit of optimism in this shit show. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's what his whole thing's about. Maybe he's look, it was time. a good time, guys. He had fun. Thanks for helping. Oh, so you're gonna get look. Hey, hey, Andy, you're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out on being lectured by Mr. Repsion. Toad in the chat asks if tickets are still available. Me? I guarantee you they're hurt. They'll teach you how to sell uh, used underwear and socks yeah. online for profits. Any, Toad, any hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If Toad will be the one that goes, I'll pay for it. Yeah, I'll mm. chip in on Toad. Just, get, chip just in get, with that. get with me, Toad, and like you know, uh, if you have to send me any shit, of probably, you, you know I'm not good. It'll all be bright. If you'll be the one to go, I'll pay for this shit. Are you sending somebody to infiltrate Kilroy for our entertainment? Yes. Me? Infiltrate? Me? No. I'm sending him to be a patron of their fine event. Oh, and excuse me. A guest. A respectful guest. Possibly uh, let some of our patrons have an interest say. Interesting say. Uh, okay. Uh, Shindlewood says failure. That Michael Guffrey spurred out completely on Bunny Blackwell's Minds account. Who the fuck is, who the fuck is this dude? Michael Guffrey. I've never heard of him. I don't I'm know. I'm gonna laugh does. if you get a fucking airline ticket for like a grand and he lives within walking distance. Yeah. Uh, the Mr. Rep guy's gonna teach you about some good stuff. Failure. Yeah. How to how to eat how to eat tendies in your car for fucking uh, yeah. fifteen yeah. minutes. Anytime someone asks me, "Yo, hey Andy, how how do you blow up on YouTube? How do you do what you do?" I just send him Mr. Rep's John's channel and go do the opposite of what you see on this channel. <laughs> Because well, when somebody asks me how to blow up on YouTube, I just send them an ISIS uh, video. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Dang it. That was fucking solid. Oh, shit. How many, like uh, how many subs does Repsion have, Andy? Half a million. It, it gets depressing. When you uh, how many views does he get per video? 3,000. Uh, uh, I many, get more than that. Holy shit. All right. All right. Here, here's, a, here's a good question. How many viewers does he normally get to his streams? 50. Answer? 50. 50, 50 viewers. 50 how, viewers. How? how, how, how? Well, where did his audience they, go? I don't understand. They got, they okay, oh my god. Oh, this is even... I, I was being generous, I think. Hang on. Let me uh, let me just do a, a, a double check here. So, streamed on... Uh, sorry, videos. Yeah, he has 517,000 subs two days ago. 2.7k views 
three days ago, six K. That's a big that's a big one. Two Ooh. weeks ago. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Such an asshole! I love it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a gun! Oh, he got six thousand. What a big number, Mr. Rips. <laughs> you made a good you look like you look like Mr. Rips. How, how many? How many views did you used to get on your videos, Andy? Like, what do you mean, when? <laughs> like when you would upload a video back in the day? How many? How many views? Like back in the day, like I've had a lot of moments. Like, like you mean like dumbest ever days? No, no, like last year. Oh, probably like forty thousand. Like was a regular video, and then up to a hundred. So at half the subs, you had like ten times the views. Yeah, and I only had about one hundred and fifty thousand subs. I'd say. Here, here, like you look at this. People are gonna go, Andy, you're a dick for doing this. I know people are gonna freak out about this, but whatever. Well, failure has to stop sharing a screen so we can see it. Here, I, I'm sharing mine. I know people are gonna be mad. That the low blow, Andy. And that's a seven-hour stream too. Holy shit! No. And oh wait, is he only doing streams now? Yeah. Look, okay, he's a regular video from two weeks ago, twenty-four thousand. Okay, so when he posts a regular video, it's up on the twenty-four k. It's oh, not his job bad. anymore. It's no, that's any bad. Wait, wait, it's that's not his bad job anymore, you. though. He, he, he quit YouTube, basically. He's doing Subnautica. But still, that's bad for a seven-hour stream. I get fucking 2,000 views from a fucking seven-hour stream. That's fucking... Mm. Yeah, he's he's not a welder. and Oh, and he did say he's going to be doing education videos on welding for his YouTube channel. Oh, I'm sure that's something everyone's going to want. Well, watch. there's an audience desperate for that content. I'm sure they're going to oh, walk over. Oh, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, they're going to be fucking craving that. I I think um uh yeah, honest thing, he was talking about how people hate change, meaning he expected that the f half a million viewers would like if he changed into a gaming channel. But and I, well, I tried. It's obviously not true because he's not getting any views compared to the size of his audience. Well, I I think his views started to go down, so he like way overreacted and started trying to do fucking everything yeah. that other successful channels do, like gaming, uh, food review, all this shit. And when none of it worked, he was like, "Well, all right, I'll get a job." But the problem is, I'll tell you this: the problem is, is I. I just, you know, tried watching one of his streams just for the like the fucking shits of it, right? And then first of all, he pull he pulls this shit here. I'm I'm gonna share my screen one more time. He pulls this shit, and this is the most annoying fucking garbage behavior I've seen on anyone who streams. Look at this. He, he has five ad blocks. Look, here, 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 six. In the first hour of his stream, and then no ad blocks. And then half of it is him just playing without talking. He just sits there and he's just like, "Oh, that was." Crazy. Read, read, no, uh, go to the comments. I want to see how the they're reacting. This is his audience, right? So nobody, we, I mean, you've never shared this before, so it can't be tainted. So what are the comments on there? Are they eating it up? Or are they saying, "What are you doing?" Okay, let's see. He has twelve comments. Wow, he's fucking blowing up. He's blowing <laughs> up. <the> fucking... <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> he's fucking. How <laughs> much of a cunt you are? <laughs> this means they're getting deleted. No, he's killing, man. I don't know. I'm not being sarcastic. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm being so genuine. 12 big comments. What a star. <laughs> Aliens. Truth be told, you're the alien. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. And, and look at this. Hang on. You got four fucking likes on this one. It's pretty big. Oh, wait, wait. Ma Read the Lemuel Gonzalez. I think he's saying the same shit you just said. Okay, here we go. I remember watching you as a kid, and I gotta say, I've never seen you do a gameplay, but I'm surprised that you don't get that many views. When I first saw you, you only had 78,000 subscribers, and now I see that you have over a half a million, yet you don't get enough views. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't subscribe well because I don't like them. But that doesn't mean you suck or anything, just I don't relate to your videos. But the main purpose for this comment is to say, I hope your fan base starts showing you more love to your oh, videos. So he's that like, That is harsh, man. That harsh. is both, that is the nicest way to say you suck I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Oh, trees. There is, in fact, let's, um, he did one. Okay, the next chapter. So this was about the next. 
you know, point with the ad the- block things, it just to me. I don't know about you guys. Maybe Jim or somebody else picks up on this. Tell me if I'm wrong. Pull the room here. Does it not look like he started doing it and then just kind of tapped out? He's like, no, said gonna fuck it. No yeah, it looks like he had part. a thing where he's gonna do it every, and then he's, like, you know. I, I don't know. I, I don't put ads on my shit, um, and I usually use ad block on every video I watch, so I don't know what the norm is for spacing them out on the live stream. I really don't have any clue. We, I, I don't either, but just like when you look at it, those yellow things, that's the ad blocks, right? Yeah, those would be the ads that are oh, playing. Dude, yeah. yeah, he has like fucking 50 in the first bit there, and it just stops. It's like there's no point. Uh, unless you're getting a shit ton of views on your live stream, I don't really see the point in putting well, Like, There's ads so many back to back that there's an obvious desperation there. It's like, please, please, please. But then there's also. I hear like, Andy laughing. You find some good comments. <laughs> he goes, well, I found oh, one. I found one. I found one. R.I.P., my nibba. He just got parched. Pincher Martin says, "Your channel died, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's why he has to put them all at the beginning because people will fucking tune out. Nobody's gonna. Watch oh yeah, yeah, no, they'll sit around for the first two and a half hours of a silent Subnautica let's play, but not three hours. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Hang on, can it, can it, this one might have a little bit of um of more interesting. Let's go newest first. Okay. You, you, you all talk. What is I'll, his I'll search. Um, yeah, you can see the videos do way better. Uh, yeah, his videos. Videos. yeah, his videos. Yeah, his video. Yeah, that one had 6,000 views. Yeah, 24K. I remember my first month on YouTube. God, you're <laughs> such a... <laughs> You're such a bitchy little guy. What is, what is Repsion's first comment say? Scroll to the top. What is his cur- first comment say? Thanks for watching, but I should make something very clear that I'm talking about daily habits that affect you negatively. Uh, he put a trigger I, warning in. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I hope his welding does very well. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Andy, uh, when did your best, uh, when did you guys become best friends, uh, by the way? When did this all begin? Oh, <laughs> when well, uh, the, I mean, rep become BFFs? Well, yeah, you have such positive things to say about his ability to retain an audience, and you take <laughs> such a, a positive. Uh, you really I'll, enjoy I'll reading you, those I'll, comments. I'll, I'll tell you the fucking truth. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, I only, me and him, only started talking when we did a stream with Blair White and someone else and him on Onision. Right, that was the first time I ever talked with him. Now, I've been following him since Amazing Atheist promoted him, and I always thought he was like, oh, he's decent. Like what? Wasn't my favorite, but like he was, he was all right. Like you're watching him grow and make videos and whatever. It was pretty interesting stuff. Um, and then I saw the downfall of his channel when he started doing these streams. And then Chris and I would always go like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" Like he was like our, you know, always check up on him once a week and see how else you can fuck up your channel. He was like legit my what I shouldn't do to make my channel successful and then the fucking the like the nail in the coffin i think for him was on january 1st i think it was two years ago i go on fucking youtube and i see that he had streamed and he streamed alone on new year's doing a countdown by himself with like a hundred people watching and I'm like, Aww. and then I started doing more of like, Chris actually started like looking t- into a more psychological a level on, on Mr. Repsion, more of a personal to see what's happening with him. And what we figure is once his girlfriend dumped him, she moved in with him. He made a video about that. When she dumped him and left, that was the downfall of Repsion. He started becoming angry and depressed and oh, no. started panicking so i love that think- this guy is such a train wreck that like you and chris decided we have to study it yeah, <laughs> no, I, no no serious. I mean yeah in all honesty if you see someone destroying their shit it's good to go okay that's where he fucked up now i don't do that yeah the, and the, I, it looks like his mistake time, having a girlfriend yeah the first time i bumped into him i, I was doing a stream of keemstar he came in because Keemstar was at mad at him because he called uh, <laughs> Repsy and called Keemstar's daughter a prostitute. <laughs> what so. the fuck? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, look, look. It's not that I I viscerally hate him. It's just this guy has been on a 
downfall. And then whenever anyone throws in, you know, you know, a a, a piece of advice, like, hey man, uh, like I remember, like there was one we used to follow him avidly to to just, and I still do to just see what this guy is up to because it's like you're watching someone like sort of self destruct on YouTube. And then, like, I remember there was some times I'd watch his... I, I'd get mad. Like, his room would be a fucking mess. His hair was all messy. You could tell he, he hadn't showered in, like, two were days. You, were you in the comment section saying, clean your ass up? You're no, disgusting. No, <laughs> you no I was just... I was shouting from, from home. I remember Chris at one time would, like... I'd, I would show Chris every now and then and be like, all right, here's his update. And Chris is like... This guy hasn't showered in like three days. His eyes were all poofy. He plays video games fucking nine hours a day. Whenever like w like once his girlfriend broke up with him, and then like he just went on a downfall. And it was just sort of like he never picked himself back up. And I think him being a welder now is probably the best thing because now it's really like bucko. yeah, now he's forced to work and forced to do his yeah, nine he, to five. He's still doing he's still doing seven hour streams every day. Wait, that was that was every day. No, was, no. Wasn't the last two streams weren't they like uh, yesterday and the day before? I mean, they were really close together, weren't they? Yeah, but th but th then it was two weeks. So uh, he like yeah. he like vanishes for two weeks. Maybe I just just weekend thing. I don't know. I I just like like for Repsion, I don't hate him as a person. It's just I saw when Where his the girlfriend. Fuck the hate come from in this. No, because I'm making fun of him. I, I just find it funny, but like, oh, oh no, I'm not saying I'm not saying Andy hates him, but Andy, it kind of reminds me like Mean Girls from high school. Like Andy seems <laughs> to have a little bit of venom for him, and I'm wondering where he that's does. coming from. And because he's the only dude, like you know, here's the thing: is I worked so hard to get where I am on YouTube, and Chris and I, we like like when we were way smaller on YouTube, it was just so infuriating to see a guy with half a million subscribers literally just shit on his channel just and it was like almost like you want to just shake him and go wake the fuck up man like slap him in the face and be like dude you need to snap out of this fuck stop it stop it right now because at this rate and seeing how he is just as a person and his depression he'll never find a girl he's I don't know. two steps away from being like full onision yeah, and then when I hear he's selling his fucking underwear and sitting in them for two weeks, unwashed, to sell his underwear, like I want to yak just thinking about it. It it, it just re re. Oh my god, Andy, do you have a PO box set up for people to send you things? No, not yet. I was oh, thinking if, if, if you set that up, I'm sending you a pair of his used underwear. I would fucking. Love <laughs> I'm gonna that. send it. With, I'm gonna have him sign it to my biggest fan. Don't, don't, don't want him. This crusty. is after three days of welding. Get him right. crusty. Yeah, two weeks of welding in those bad boys. Some tidy whities that don't Dude, get washed. Why oh. hasn't somebody sent that to Jeff for his unboxing videos? How has that not happened? Dude, and it sits in a box for a couple weeks until, oh. It's, little... <laughs> it's just festering. Put a can of mayonnaise in there, open it up, and ship it out. It's it's a little fucking little moldy because of the wetness. Oh, boy. I... <laughs> I just okay, that's gross. I, I I just think, I just think uh, like the reason I I I, I took sh I, I take shots at, at rep like that is because it's because of that. Is Chris and I used him as a as like a, what do you call it as as research? Like he was my the channel I would I would follow and sort of just go over his life and we analyzed him and chris you know he was in counseling and stuff uh so i would set like show him the videos and chris was sort of analyzing him on a deeper level i was doing more of like a youtube level and chris went more on a and i showed him the girlfriend stuff and all this and we we i don't like we used him like a a fucking guinea pig for our <laughs> Are just your own, curiosity. Your own amusement. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that bad? I'm imagining you with like a billboard in your room with like fucking string lines going from picture to picture of a giant He's got goggles, goggles and a fucking lab coat on. <laughs> yeah, we need to understand him. Track down the source.
Damn, that's, I never even oh, told man. anyone that before. And here's the thing. Is, probably should have stayed that way. Yeah, I was yeah, just probably should have kept that one like, like, close to the way. Uh, whatever. I, I don't really keep things under my hat anymore, so I might as well just tell the truth. Um, I don't know. It was sort of like sad, yet kind of... Uh, it's always funny to watch people like like train wrecks, as we all know. But oh, no, it, yeah, I agree. It's always yeah. Funny. So that that's why I throw the little jabs. It's not because to be a dick or ruin him or any of that bullshit. It's more yeah. of uh, but Andy. What are you gonna do if one day we get news that Rapsion hung himself and all the note says is why was Andy so mean to me? Oh, god damn! I what if the note I, says maybe I'll get more views now, huh, Andy? And there's a the camera the with a tape in it. <laughs> I w- I'll be very sad and I'll make an apology video. But you're gonna make an apology <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, buddy. Did you help pay for the funeral? Uh, no. Yeah. I, I I have bills to pay. But, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just being a dick. No, he's not. But, at, <laughs> I don't see him at, at at the. I don't see him at the the brink of suicide or anything like that. I just see him trying to figure out his life and his ex did fucking take a toll on him. I, I, you should probably just go to his house and take his belts just, just in case. Mm. I, I you'll be put on more than the hate watch if you end up getting Repsion to off himself because oh, of your cruelty. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just run around doing it, Andy. That's not okay. I have to write what an essay, doing? someone's saying? Yeah, you need to write an essay immediately about how uh, mean words hurt feelings. Uh, uh, failure. Can you at least play like the first minute and a half of Prince of Queens' video to Jim for Jim? At least the first minute and a half where he explains oh, to Jim why Jim is an idiot. Is it the same one as uh, the you, man it's, thing? Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. So, someone in the chat said, sorry for laughing till you die. Time to pound through some super chat. <laughs> 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 you didn't find that very funny. I'm sorry, you did. Uh, 200 dollars from some hey, super chat. Oh, it sounds like I hate the, the working man. No. I hate the man who has half a million subscribers that and then just fucking like, lets it just fade. Mm-hmm. On, purpose, on purpose, in my opinion. Jim, why, why why did you beat up Amy Schumer without makeup? Why did I? Oh, oh, this uh, uh this is ah! the Money Badgers. Money yeah. Badgers. Yeah. All right. Of God. Honey Badger Radio. Uh, wow, it sure seems oh, like oh, 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 that is every politically minded. <laughs> oh, oh no, you haven't seen anything that yet. Is you have not. Stuff. No, 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 sir. No, oh, sir. Wait, wait, wait. He has like what? Three million, four million subs? Because why would you put yourself in a throne with a crown on? If how many subs does he have? About his nine. avatar has a neck beard. Do you think he's I a bit mysterious in this picture? Yeah. It's very mysterious. It's a man of mystery. Look at him smoking <laughs> that cigarette. That's a <laughs> mysterious man of mystery right there. Wait until you see the animations he had them draw for his face. That crown looks familiar. Is that from uh, Archie Comics? What was the yeah. fucking uh, character's name that wore the uh, Jughead. 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 Yeah, Jughead. Dimbar. So, okay. okay. He's going for the Jughead okay. look. Good to oh, know. That's the look. Oh, by the way, that uh, expression he's making is when he sees a vagina. <laughs> Ew, get that away from me. That's disgusting. Ew, oh my god. It smells like a gaping wound. Give me a cock. All right, play it. Play. <laughs> Jim, can you, make, can you make this one of your new characters? <laughs> Just fucking steal it and fucking make it. <laughs> Just well, a problem. Sort of it. Steal it. Personality that I followed starting about two years ago has been accused of all sorts of nefarious and often unrelated things since the end of December. <laughs> Oddly enough, it seems like all of the people accusing them of stuff are all friends. And every time these accusations happen, the YouTubers being accused deny pretty much all of the allegations. Hmm, I wonder who to side with. I wonder who might be telling the truth. I wonder who on the one him. hand. Oh, that's what the fuck I wonder. Who asked him? I'm just, uh, well, I, he, he, he's, he's the Prince of Queens. Of course, he has to interject with his opinion. Uh, you peons, peons, quiet. And I've got the people whose work I've admired for years that make their principles well known, and I've never found even the slightest bit intellectually dishonest. On the other, 
I could take the word of a small clique of people I mostly haven't followed on YouTube who might just be lying constantly and deliberately misrepresenting people for views in an attempt to systematically discredit as many people on YouTube as possible. Who's telling the truth? Who's telling the truth? Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I can't that, even uh, That's a hell of a smile there. That's that's some beautiful. Ah. Piranha you fucking you teeth. Yeah, that? what is that teeth? His teeth are fucked in that picture. Failure. Hang failure. Hang this hang is hang. uh this is an edit, right? You you did that to the teeth? Yeah. No, 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 no. You added those gaps in I just want to suck some cocks with my my shark no, teeth. That no. looks so fun. Yeah. He's got like a chainsaw piranha mouth. The fuck? Hey. His uh, teeth are all gap because right, Saturday night at the glory hole. <laughs> all right, Jim, we figured out what it looked like. Do you remember that game that uh, I had a little alligator as a kid? Alligator dentist, <laughs> where you fucking. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this fucking That's exactly teeth what it looks like. Oh my God, guys. Uh, so, so he's figured out the secret, the 24-hour ops to systematically discredit all those uh, creditable people on the internet right now. Mm -hmm. By shaving his teeth down. And can, can anybody explain yeah. to me how, how uh, that systematic uh, discrediting, when the person came on, admitted they were a shill, and then came on again and apologized profusely for five minutes? I don't know why they think that everything is an op. Oh yeah, I do, because that's what their friends do. Yeah, well, they, they, yeah, they just project. That's what most. Of oh no, I'm a horrible person that loves fucking with people. I don't deny that, but I, I think it's. But pretty you're not running 24-hour ops in Discord <laughs> servers and fucking like. They no, but what I'm saying is, everybody shit. saw that stream though. Like there was no, there's no tomfoolery. The nothing's been clipped. She came on, admitted she was shilling, and then talked about it on Twitter about doing it, and then came back on and apologized for it. She. She thought it went one way. It did not go that way. The public was very vocal about it not going that way. And Ooh, your, she your audience to throw uh, her uh, patron into the lion's den with fucking Mr. Medicare. I'm Ta that's that's what I would You're, do. Ta Taka, your audience came up with a nickname for him. I don't know what you th what you think of this, but they're calling him Prince of Paws. Prince ah! of Paws. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion on well, that? Well, Wizard of Paws, Prince of Paws. <laughs> fucking. But I think it's also a Prince of. Gl of glory holes, which speaking of which, I'm working on a little Photoshop right now. Oh, oh. that's homophobic, Andy. Come what? Homophobic? Don't you be a homophobic? Like, every time, like I hear him just fucking talk right now, it just right. I'm just imagining him throw uh, throwing confetti. Let's hear a little. Let's hear. Yeah, let's hear a little bit more. Unless you're you're, you're done with this talk. Keep going, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Such a head scratcher. <laughs> hey, Allison, it's Prince of Queens, and part of me wants to give you a super long video trying to explain everything about the exact dynamics of your own individual blood sports encounter. But like most people, I honestly couldn't even really follow it that well, and I doubt you'd be interested Hold in on, watching it. Pause it real quick. Again, this is another person admitting that they watch it. They're like, I don't watch it, but I watch it. Well, yeah, because nobody, nobody wants to admit they watch Springer, but everybody enjoys it. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. They may hate watch it, but they watch it nonetheless. Obviously, you learned the basics about the genre and crowd. These people don't want to debate, nor do they even want to cross-examine you heavily to ensure that your story is legit. <laughs> Their only goal is to make you look bad, employing often the most juvenile methods at their disposal. Internet I liken ladies. it to being put on a stage wearing a white dress, where your hands will be tied behind your back with your legs handcuffed, while an entire audience throws tomatoes at you. And then the <laughs> way to win would be to last the entire show without getting stained. And then even if you succeed, I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't handle the stereotypical voice. It's getting. Yeah, right. I told you. I can't. How amazing is it that he really does have that voice? Well, it, yeah, it's not a put on. It sounded like the, that on the Politipod. That's the first thing I fucking noticed. And I was saying, and people were calling me a little bit homophobic, but I'm just saying it's like, it's so hard to take someone like seriously or focus when it's just, oh my God. And then these guys, you don't even know what they were doing.
Uh-huh. Uh, now, wasn't he going hard at you on Twitter, Tonka? Oh, God, and me, yes. apparently. Uh, Toad McKinley mm -hmm. put together a nice collage of about 60. 60 tweets? tweets? But, no, these were all to cognitive thought. or They were all to someone because I, all right, when I was on Bearings show, uh, I don't know, it's uh, over on his second channel. He just brought me over there. We were talking about random shit. And he said, so you, you've had a talk with Prince of Queens before, have you? Or, no, he didn't even say that. He didn't say anything like that. I, I don't even want to put that in the word. All I said was, Prince of Queens blew up Cog's Twitter for about a week and a half. The 14 words, if you will. And when I said these 14 <laughs> words, he then proceeded to attempt to prove me wrong by blowing up Cog, Baring, and my Twitter for another three days. For 14 words. <laughs> Oh, and where did he bash him on the me? show? But yeah. But I heard he um a bearing said he was apparently having a bitch fit about me as well. So where was that? Was that on the stream or on no, Twitter? It, it's gonna be on Twitter. Oh. Because dude, go to Toad's fucking Twitter. He he put together okay. it's huge. Just a big fucking a a wall. Why is he having a mental breakdown? Like what's happening here? He's the guy that came up with the coach coin conspiracy. Yeah. Wait, what? I, I'm unfamiliar with this. Oh, oh boy. boy. You ready for this? I, 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 he's like, stop the car. Yeah, let's hear this. Okay. I actually talked to him about it. He thinks that Tonka and Andy's show is doing so well because people pay people to watch it and type in the chat and super chat. And at one point, he insinuated that the people who are being paid are being paid by Coach Red Pill. So Coach Red Pill is paying 4chan to pay us. Oh so my god. Okay, that started off small and it just kept getting huge. <laughs> it sure. just kept getting larger. Well, that doesn't make any sense though. I mean, Coach has a Patreon of his own and he monetizes. So if he's rolling in money, why would he even bother with that? Because it... Yeah, yeah, I have totally. to Wait, so are you guys like the... Oh, holy shit, I get it. You're like the George Soros of the alt-right. Yeah. Yeah. And then no, the no, horses. coaches. I'm sorry, coaches. Coaches, 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 yeah. coaches the George yeah, Soros of the alt right. We're being by the George Soros of the alt right. Mm -hmm. Which wouldn't make sense because YouTube takes thirty percent of the money, so he'd be losing thirty percent of the money. Give me a one in the chat if you guys are fucking missing out on your Coach Coin check. Yeah, let us know if you're a uh, Russian yeah. bot in need of Coach Coin. That's uh, <laughs> so this, he's convinced of this. He's convinced that uh, coach is funding funding blood sports for Go his own him, personal Jim. vendetta. Tweet, tweet to him, Jim, and you can even I tell him that if if he came on tonight, talk you, you can't show me a fucking wall of tweets like sixty of them and then tell me to tweet <laughs> this guy. All right, I've already got three hundred from the money badgers. I don't need another seven hundred from the prince of Cox here. Not wrong, not wrong. See, this is why you've lasted so long. <laughs> I, I don't know what you do, Tonka. Like my fucking Twitter stays fucking clean. You're you're arguing with fucking Prince of Queens. You're arguing with fucking Jeff. You're oh, arguing. With I don't. My, I didn't go my, in on Prince of Queens. Yeah, yeah. yeah no way. Wait, wait, wait Tonka. I'm mad at you. Those you were mad that I got you banned from fucking Israel, but you got Prince of Queens to hate me. Oh mm. no. You owe me for that. That there's a big <laughs> difference between getting someone banned from a country and eliminating a rodent problem. <laughs> Hey, hey, Andy. Yeah. And, yeah. So, so last night I, I find I find Tonka fighting mm. with my my former co-host Jim Dave. <laughs> who? Exactly. Who? Who? who who's J Jim Day? And Jim the Ape. Oh my God, Jim the Ape! I forgot he existed. What happened? Well, you know, he hit after he got catfished by that uh, mute. Uh... He was catfished. <laughs> yeah, he was catfished by a mute chick that was living. You just in you room. had to tell this story with fucking. J mm. oh, Failure no. does this shit on purpose no. when he knows no, you're no, coming no, around, no, Jim. No, no Jim, Jim. Jim's heard uh, fucking, uh, fucking. No, the fuck, he, fuck he hasn't heard this story. You had you, to bring it up. Uh, around. Was it, wait, was the I'm mute thing to get around ever talking? And oh God! Really All right, oh, Failure. Oh, Tell the story oh. and do it right since you brought it up. You're a piece of shit, but go yeah, ahead. Hang on, Jim the Ape, I'll You're say a right terrible now. terrible person. He was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. Oh, God, he's an annoying prick. That's not oh, why. Boy. It's just, this oh, is the boy. saddest story.
This oh, is just no. sad. It's fucked. Oh, up. now come on, everybody, sit down and let Pop oh, tell us a story. I'm I'm dying to hear this. He's, yeah. he's Tonka's Repsion. Well, no, he's just obnoxious, and he bitched at me mm. because uh, Failure started bringing me on streams back in the day. Apparently, I, I I was Failure's new girlfriend, and it really bothered the old girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> It started a downward spiral. I, I need I need to hear the story. How do you get catfished by somebody pretending to be a mute chick? Go like, ahead, tell me you. the story. Go ahead, right. So so they they were exchanging DMs and everything, and uh, her story was that she was on the road, uh, staying in a hotel because they were on the way to another state. Her her family, uh, they had they were in the process of selling their home, and they were going to buy a new home. Uh, the story is the old home didn't get sold. It fell through and everything, so now they couldn't buy the new home. So they were stuck in motels and needed a little bit of uh, you know help help from uh, you know uh, Jim and and the public. So he started you know throwing little charities to try to get her money. Started tossing <laughs> his own money her way. You know maybe also tossed toss her some Steam games. You know just you know so so she won't be bored in, in that, in that room in that room. Uh, well, one of these charities that that uh, he did, he did it with Base Mama and my buddy. Uh, of course, <laughs> why wouldn't she be involved? Uh, oh, right. Yeah, my my you buddy. You have any stories like, without <laughs> Base Mama? <laughs> Wait, hold on a second, Tonga. You can't talk. You can't talk. You you have a bias here. It being my my ex ex lover. Now that you're my new lover, all right. Calm down. All right. So uh, your boy Pat is like, why don't you get failure in here to help you with your charity? And he was like, no, I don't. I don't like failure. Failure derails things. Imagine that. I, I can't believe that shit. Um, so that charity went to shit. Really didn't fucking earn much, but uh, some people donated. Uh, eventually, you know, he the the person gets money from this, and down the road they needed more money, so they came up uh, with a uh, scenario where. This mute girl's uh, mother got cancer. <laughs> what a what a what a horrific coincidence! Okay, so did he do more fundraisers yeah. for that too? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There was fundraisers. There was gift cards for Domino's and stuff. Since you know they they needed food, so you well, know. Well, yeah. Hey, everybody knows a pepperoni pizza cures AIDS or, or cancer. So <laughs> that's good to know. Well, talk, talk to Joy Sparkles. You know. <laughs> Um, but so, so yeah, eventually like a lot of people, red flags came up because they were like, have you talked to this uh, girl? And, uh, he was like, no, she's, she's mute. We just still converse while, well, how, how about, how about video? Oh, she doesn't have a webcam. <laughs> uh, and, and all he had was like a few pictures. And oh, failure. How people, dumb is this guy? Just, just before you go uh, further on with this, how stupid is this dude? He, he was a nice guy. No, I don't care. Yeah, everybody's he a nice guy. He oh, me about how dumb failure. my content is and how he was more of a, uh, how he went for the intellectualism. Oh, he's got a lot of followers. How are people still following him after he got them scammed for fucking GoFundMes for uh, Catfish? Oh, no, okay. I was looking because, at the wrong follower because, number. Because, because, yeah. yeah. 516. I, I thought it said 10,000. I was going to be like, okay, well, that's, that's you know. Wait, fine. wait. I, I just clicked his YouTube channel and uh, internal server error? I don't means YouTube's got an issue right now. Well, so so the the internet saw like a lot of red flags and they weren't satisfied with the answers so they did you know internet autist detective work and uh, found out that it happened to be a 19 year old male that was fucking uh, scammed. Oh, right? I, I, oh, okay no you have to answer my oh. question you dodged it how dumb is he is he a dumb person F failure he's full of himself <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I mean, he's let's, generally let's, a stupid person. Could you convince him of things easily because he's an idiot? He, he's a lonely, he's a lonely male that lives at home with his parents. So, what, is, you know, what, is it with, what is it with internet personalities man. suffering from potential pussy syndrome? Like the moment they think they can get a little bit of pussy, they will do anything to get it. Like, oh, I will get you a GoFundMe for your cancer, mute girl. I will fucking save you from the Motel 6, uh, you know, mute girl. I want to have sex with you, mute girl. And then it turns out to be some 19-year-old boy in Nebraska probably probably using the money to buy Repsion underwear. Wait, wait. <laughs> like, what the hey, fuck? Hey, 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 Medicare, you want to see a good video potentially uh, from November uh, 29th, 2016. Monday and Matt, failure accomplished. <laughs> Jim the Ape and Warski have a sit-down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, Wait, like I said, he, 
of the fundraiser? What when did that happen? By no, the no, 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 no. Like he stopped being my co-host way, way uh, before the fundraiser ever happened. Uh, like when I started streaming, that's fairly accomplished. I brought him on. Like you know, our first guest was Baron, and I, I fucking pushed him. I pushed him as most best as I can. But my style of fucking autistic, just watching commercials and being off topic and funny and shit, was not his style. He 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 would rather just you know. Do oh, failure! You have to make you have to make the story more entertaining. Like, please yeah. tell me that when they no no. I please tell me when they did their internet detective work. It took them like five minutes to find out this was fake. Tell me like they all they had to do was a Google search or like an email to find out okay. it was a dude. I, I would have to like find people that actually still have the information, but I'll give you one last piece of juicy information. Okay, so hit me, pictures, hit me with it. The, all right, the pictures that he was sending, Jim, it was a crush of his that uh, also happened to be dead. <laughs> so he's using a dead girl's pictures to trick an idiot to buying him Domino's pizza. That is fucking amazing. Mm. Oh. God, people on the internet and, dumb. And by, by They're the way, just Jim, dumb. Jim got really, Jim got really upset when people, you know, would question like, "Hey, why, why, why doesn't she show up in video?" Or, you, you, know. you know, this happened to for no good reason. That uh, Brony that got pissed at me when I did the diaper for a video, he got suckered into doing GoFundMe's and fundraisers for a chick making shit up, and then she ended up fucking his friend at like some furry convention. Like, why do guys fall for this shit so easily? It's amazing to me. There was something you touched on a while back, and I don't think you ever uh, made a video about it or touched on it again, but it was like a one-day thing, and I was really curious about it, and I thought about it the other day. It was a fucking fat, crazy-looking person who worked for, like, Polygon that was blackmailed. Oh, I'll give you the story of that. You want the you story of that? You know what I'm that? talking about? Yeah, yeah, you're talking about the guy who presented himself as a journalist. Um, he was yeah, running yeah. a cancer. He was running a cancer charity, and it turned out that um, he was fucking with an artist, and basically threatening them, saying, if you don't give me money and do what I want, I'm going to write negative stories about you. I'm going to contact your former employees, and I'm going to blacklist mm -hmm. you. Uh, so the story came out, right? People started talking about it. I know uh, you guys encountered Nick Monroe when he, you know, he was dealing with uh, Joy Sparkles, but Nick did a decent job on this. Um, this guy was, I, I still believe, and I, I'm standing by this, I think this guy made this whole fucking thing up. Because uh, what happened was when the information the got came deleted out, that was in the post. Yeah, when, when the information came out, you know, talking about, is this guy running a charity scam? Um, he deleted his Twitter, and then he came back on the Twitter, but gave it to somebody else. Then he tried to show people that he wasn't faking it by putting up uh, screen caps, right? But the problem with the screen caps was they were fucking edited. Like, you could clearly see they were edited. Then he tried showing medication, but the medication he was showing wasn't for cancer. It was for a lung infection, and it was uh, written by, like, a, a pulmonologist or whatever. Turns out the guy he, who's his roommate uh, or one of his family members has lung issues. So it goes on and on and on. But like he's scamming people out of money and he's like bullying people into giving him money, threatening to write articles or do stuff when he only, you know, like written two of them. Um, and I don't know where the fuck he is now. I, I don't know what happened to him, but GoFundMe or it was either like GoFundMe or Kickstarter pulled his thing down. And then they, they started talking to the police. And now people that have donated have been told that, you know, they should follow up with the police on this. That all, this yeah. all went down within like one day. And it went down, arrested. well, uh, yeah, the, the artist uh, he was going after DM'd me like a month before that and was talking about the situation, uh, but you know didn't want to do anything because they were afraid what was going to happen to him. And I was like, you know, you can't let somebody fucking extort money out of you. That's ridiculous, especially some cunt who's trying to use his journalistic ties to do it. Um, I don't know what his deal is. Some people think that he had some kind of benign cancer earlier on. Uh, but then just kept running with it and made it seem like it was more severe. He also said stuff like he was in the military, but the age doesn't add up and the location doesn't add up and just really weird shit. But if I wrong. had, yeah, if I had cancer, right, if I was dying from cancer and I was running like a GoFundMe to help pay for the treatments and somebody said that uh, I was making it up, Wait. I would prove that I, it was real. The last thing I would do is delete my Twitter and then run away and hide. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah. seems like really bizarre behavior for somebody that's trying to come off like they have an actual fucking disease. That, mm. that was a problem for me, too. Mm. It, it didn't, didn't work right. Failure, you're a terrible person. And you what? just reminded me that her name was Lude Trish. God damn, Jim, you're an idiot. What, what? Uh, what is this? I'm seeing hotel bills here. Did he pay oh, for dude. these? 
What? No, uh, this this is a like invoice that uh, she gave. Her name was Lou Trish. No, no, no. His name was Lou Trish. Let's let's remember well, who no, we're talking. What about. he thought he was getting <laughs> into oh, this, was someone named yeah, Lou this, Trish that he has found. Lo god damn, Jim. Yeah, this Lou. this was Lou Trish record. This avatar. Oh god. Thing. Oh my oh, god. Do you think they? Do you do you think they? Um. Like, By the way, he doesn't he look like mundane Matt? A little bit, a little bit. Do you think they ERP with each other on Skype, like a little erotic role play? How far did uh, this dude, Lou Trish, go with the the con to get that cash? I don't need it. Do you think there's oh, a little going on? I think, so. sexy, I think so. Sexy time. Yeah. I think they there might be might be some uh, lewd action behind the scenes that we we didn't see. Oh, how, how many times do you think he threw up in the toilet after he found out the guy? Uh, it was a guy writing all that erotic shit to him that he was jacking off to. I don't. Uh, maybe he was harder after he found out. <laughs> Do you think that got him extra hard? Uh, yeah, he was like, oh, damn. Oh, I'm really turned on now. Mm -hmm. I always told this guy, I'm like, make shorter videos. He did like 30 minute videos. I'm like, dude. No oh, one he still hear does them. Yeah, I'm like, no one wants to hear you talk for 30 fucking minutes, man. How, how much money did he raise for, for uh, this dude? From other uh, people, he's <laughs> running charity shit. I, I don't remember, just, uh, I know that m he gave money. Oof. I don't know that that, I don't know if m much money was raised. I just know that, you know, he gave money. Why would you even, Oh, like oh look, at, look at, there we go. What is Kakistan, of course? Why wouldn't that be right in the middle of there? Where, where? Oh, of course gross. it is, right there. They, 18, that's 18 right. fucking minutes of what is okay, it's like the scarlet letter no no isn't that, isn't that just that's just video isn't it that's he's no, mirroring it. yeah they oh. all have it on their channels it's the scarlet letter of cringe lords it's what do you so know sad. another chatelet shouting kekistan rooney uh got mm. suckered by some dude <laughs> showing dead pictures <laughs> <Dead Chatelet. laughs> yeah oh, fuck it. Okay, hang, hang on may I ask you failure I know I shit on refs, yeah, but why are you shitting on Jim D? He was he was a swell fellow. Oh, listen to this! Listen to this motherfucker. After he ra he railed on fucking refs, yeah, for like an hour. Oh, oh there it is. Charity stream. Luke oh Trish. God! Oh, 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 Inappropriate. Hello. Inappropriate. Sign in. What are you? We'll censor yeah. for the people. We'll censor for the people. Wait a minute. If he got scammed, why is it still up? Let me see if her Patreon is still around. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god. Oh, this is brilliant. No, wait, he's still got the email. Oh, I bet that's how they found out it was god. bullshit. What was that? Please tell me fucking lewd yeah. Trish sent some lewd photos. Uh, let's see. Barely enough money for rent, but you have enough money for me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, was Trish yes, physically <laughs> with you during this stream? God. <laughs> Barely enough money to for rent wait, 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 like, you buy her a beer but i you... bought her snacks from the amazon wish list before you got this is god damn this is cold oh, wait, Jesus it, it, is fucking up. if you're referring to the fact trish was drunk someone else provided the alcohol and yeah like no name said rent is a whole fucking lot. I, I like the comment under that don't you know that trish is actually two guys <laughs> two girls in a gorilla suit while they were close <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, but yeah, this is uh, this is the stream. Hey, that, uh, down. I want to read all the comments. There's only well, you, yeah, you better play it because I have a feeling that this stream is not going to exist for much longer. Yeah, Otter Jesus Hug uh, Patrol says, uh, "Of course, the guy with the fucking username Otter Jesus Hug Patrol bought her shit on Amazon. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't somebody yeah. with that fucking name buy some? Oh Jesus, <laughs> this is that side yeah. of YouTube, Jim. Uh, let's see who was on there." Of course, Bass Mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bass Mama! Uh, uh, is, that, uh, is that fucking Satsu? No, that's... Uh, no, I think they call themselves... Your boy Pat. Sith male or something. Oh, your boy Pat. No, your boy Pat. Awesome. Your boy, your boy Pat's Pat's cool. awesome, though. Yeah, I like your boy yeah. Pat. Yeah. I want to buy him a mic, because his mic's uh, always uh, weird. Uh, okay, but Phil, you told me this was a dude, but uh, do they talk on the stream? Oh no 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 no! This is this is uh, an artist that provided free art for this person. So no no, but does Lou are... Trish actually talk on the stream? No no no! This person, the the one with the pink hair, that's not yeah. Lou Trish. That's oh, the I thought that was that them. Provided... Okay, okay. Okay. No no, that's the artist that provided free art for Lou Trish. <laughs> oh, I got to agree with Andy. I want to see the rest of the comments. I think that was it.
Oh, I thought there were 11. Oh, oh, fuck, that's it. Uh, we I think some gonna... things have been censored. Yeah, some things have been uh, deleted with this particular stream. <laughs> maybe, maybe there, there's a. Let me see. Here, go, go on and read, Andy. <laughs> so oh. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> they do. Okay. Looted horse shit. Uh, if you'd like to have a civilized discussion regarding your objections, I am more than willing to in the medium of your choice, but in the comment section here or some private chat somewhere or even a debate style live stream. Uh, however, you find yourself incapable of acting like an adult on this issue. You will instead be treated like a child and placed in a virtual timeout. I hope you opt out for the former, but I must forewarn you of the consequences of the latter. Oh my God. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. Jimmy. Uh, also debate. Oh boy. oh boy! Oh boy! It's all. Oh no! Okay, okay. Uh, let's let's skim through it. Okay, so apparently yeah, Jim yeah. didn't get his comments. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I'll do a little. Uh, uh, I'll do a little skim here. Oh wait, uh, wait. Now let me read point number two. I think that's where they drop the bomb that this is a guy. Okay. In their fucking three-page essay they've written to this person. They, they down, had to exchange essays. It scrolled down to number two. Uh, you number one at the little, fucking counter end of the... Oh, oh god, this is so... Dead dead. There we go. Okay. Uh, the persona of Trish as part of their back sob story and as justification for the convenient uh, mutism claims to have been brutally attacked and rendered voiceless by an online stalker. <laughs> As you may know, George, Earl, or George Orwell was shot in the throat during the Spanish Civil War, which rendered his voice wispy. Similarly, looking up cases where people have lost their trachea or had their trachea crushed, the result was to damage their voice, but not eliminated completely. Even cancer survivors who've had tracheotomies and their larynx removed can vocalize with burping noises. <laughs> so wait, they, they tried to say they were mute because they were bullied yeah. online? No, no, no. I think it, they no, might have tried to say they were the because they got attacked by someone. No, no. Brutally attacked and rendered voiceless by an online stalker. Okay, so they saying the online stalker got them in real life or the funnier yeah, version, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. they... No, or the funnier version, which is it happened online. Like, well, I'm going to bully say, you uh, until you're mute. Uh, ah! right. They say, even worse, Trish seems to suffer from the convenient mutism that afflicts many people engaged in catfishing and scamming, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, How shitty do you I has an old wait <laughs> has an old reel to reel computer that doesn't support a sound card? You gotta be fucking with me. That that must be yeah. did nobody bring up webcams? Why didn't Trish go on a webcam? You don't need a voice to she see does, you. Doesn't doesn't have a webcam. Well he gave her enough fucking money to afford one. Yeah, webcam's like six bucks. Yeah, here's six bucks. Show me your tits. I wanna make sure you're real. Yeah. Uh, just some uh, hairy dude. Fucking wait, wait, wait. Require fifteen hundred dollars. That's what he raised for. Fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, there was no talk. He was just staying at home and using that money to pay for fucking video games. And could you imagine? I mean, that guy had it made. He got some idiot on the internet to buy him pizza, buy him video games, and send him cash every month. That's fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm a mute girl. Save me from the motel. This was uh, let's see. Oh, like I'm told that Trish was offered a webcam but declined. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's that should have sent off the red flags right there. You're an idiot. There were red. There were red flags like a motherfucker. That's not even red. That's there, like, there was... fucking legitimately showing that it's a scam. That's not a red flag. flag. That's a fucking signal flare. Yeah, yeah. That's like a fucking <laughs> yeah. 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 The house Bitch is doing semaphore from point. the rooftop. <laughs> The That's fire it. trucks are coming down. That's not a red flag. Those are sirens. It's already on fire. Uh, okay, scroll down. Let's see this fucking thread. Oh, hit hit read more. I want to see how much these intellectuals wrote to each other. Oh, like... no! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> not even fucking paragraphs. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Dude, I can't. I couldn't. Oh my god. I want to annoy the audience and read the entire response. God, no, don't. It's like Warden <laughs> Peace Internet. I know. Version. I, know, I, I don't know. want to read this. Look at how long it is. Hey, yeah, scroll down. It keeps wait. going. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, 
Are you aware of the potential consequences of someone in the exact location being revealed publicly when there are crazy people who hate them so much? Because if the answer is yes, then you should be able to understand why someone who was assaulted, stabbed, and has PTSD from said attack would not want people who stalk them on Twitter to be able to find them in real life. So is that why she was mute? Because she got fucking Oh, I, I, I love it. So the whole backstory is... Not only is Trish's family broke, not only does Trish's mother have cancer, but Trish was stalked online by an internet bully who stabbed them mm -hmm. and beat them so badly they went mute and have post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. What an idiot Jim the Ape is. How dumb are you, dude? Uh, oh my god, just because you want a little pussy? Fucking Christ, go get a hooker. It cost you a hundred bucks. Please. Yeah, 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 and scroll down and hit read more on the new one. Just do that for well, me right now. Alright, that, that was... Please, that was please. Uh, all right. There's nothing more uh, than I want to see. We just, yeah, we just want to see how long these want conversations to see how long, are. Oh my god, okay. Hurry okay, no, 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 more, hurry no, more. No, yeah, hurry more, hurry more. Let's see. Edit, edit, edit. No, no, <laughs> that keeps going. No, uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, hit, hit read more on Jim the Ape's responses. No, I'm just doing the most. Oh, people, oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, just in case, just in case. Oh, Charming Man! Hey, Charming Man! Hey, Charming Man! <laughs> uh, let, let, let's do read all the uh, fucking view reply. Uh, all right, let, let's go shit. back to the top. All right. Oh, no, no. Look at the size of this fucking comic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Holy all right. fuck! All right, all right, hold on, calm down, guys. Calm down. That's so much. Right. So, so here's the thing. Like one thing um, that would happen when we would be streaming, anytime sex would come up, a uh, big part was he. He was like, I don't understand why people talk about sex. It should be okay to, you know, like not have sex. You shouldn't be peer pressured. Into Ew. That. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. Ew! Oh, fucking insult. Oh. And he, hey, he also yeah. didn't like it when people made fun of virgins. Oh, oh, oh my God! Is he a virgin oh, with boy. rage? Oh boy! Oh, no. Failure! What are you doing? It's, is failure! Is he is he a virgin with rage? Was he an angry guy? This is getting dark. Oh, failure. what are you doing? No, fuck this guy! Fuck this guy! He <laughs> wanted me on his little charity stream. <laughs> Why did you stop being his co-host? Because, no, I didn't stop being his co-host. He stopped being my co-host. He fucking went away from me because he didn't like my style of fucking streaming. Oh, really? Because he wanted, to make, he wanted him to make 30 minutes serious fucking videos while, you know, my style. I just want to have fun and have laughs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck, what about He was a virgin or what? Oh, come on, Andy. Nobody says what he just said and is <laughs> fucking getting pussy. What are you talking about? I, I know. I just want to keep confirming it. <laughs> I just want to keep bringing it up to see this fucker. <laughs> I just, honestly, I, I even told Tonka this. I'm like, I love asking questions that I know the answer to just to keep mm -hmm. fucking, just keep it on the surface, you know? It's always, That's oh. Funny. Trish told me that you were her friend for years and... Your oh, sudden turn. Wind. All right. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh my Andy, god! Right. This is. I, I I would love to read more of the uh, the fine literature that's eight hundred pages long, but I actually got to jump. So uh, you guys, you guys enjoy reading the novel that's oh in this fucking. Fuck. It's a lot of fun. All right, I, take I, it. I, All right, peace out, bud. Thanks, man.